What is up guys, it is your favorite to talk with Lotus here today, and welcome back to the Nerdcore Nerd Corner for Fashion Friday here on Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. And this week's item of choice is Supreme Kai's clothes for the upper body. Now, if you're gonna ask me how to get Supreme Kai's clothes, I regret to inform you that I do not remember, but I'm sure just a quick search on Google or on YouTube will show you exactly how to get them. Uh, it was probably from Majin Buu or some one of the parallel quests, so those are the, the two go-to options usually on how to get the clothing items that aren't easily obt obtainable. Actually, I'm pretty sure I got them from Majin Buu. Um, so yeah, same goes for Oops clothes that we have here on the upper body. But yes, this week's item of choice is Supreme Kai's clothes for the upper. This is another fairly popular clothing item that I see a lot of people wear, um, but again, here at the Nerd Corner, Nerd Corner, we don't rock the whole fit. Usually when I see someone rocking Supreme Kai's clothes, they got, of course, the, the lower body, the hands, and the feet to match. But we don't do that here at the Nerd Corner, Nerd Corner. I'm going to show you how to mix it up, style your character, stand out a little bit more, so you can wear the dope and fly items, the main pieces from an outfit, but you can do it differently from everybody else. And hopefully this will serve some inspiration for you. Now, these videos really aren't for you to copy my outfits one for one. I can't stop you from doing that, obviously. But don't rip my own style. You got to put your own flavor on it, all right? So what we have here, of course, is nominated the sand goddess modeling for us today looking as lovely and beautiful as ever on the lower body we've got oops clothes which is another clothing item that you get from feeding majin Buu's children and then for the hands we have beerus's clothes yes um i believe you can buy these just with zenny or tp metals from the shop i actually transferred this over from xenoverse one because these were just what i had on my uh cac from xenoverse one but i believe you can buy these in the shop and uh, yeah, Namine is a goddess, so it only makes sense that she wears godly clothing. And I just feel like the, the B wrist, uh, wristbands or gauntlets, whatever you want to call them, they just go good with the fit. You know, the gold, it accents it all really nicely and it just looks godly, okay? <laughs> and then down here for the feet, we have the same shoes that I rocked with the Super Baby outfit, and that is the Capsule Corporation uh, Gi shoes. Or maybe I had on the Demon ones in the other fit, but like, they're the same thing, right? There's really no difference. Uh, the only difference between what I'm rocking now and what I was rocking then is that for the, the socks or the bandages or whatever these are wrapped around the ankles um, on the super baby outfit they were silvery gray and on this outfit they're pure white the only difference and then of course for the accessory we have her rocking those angel wings because she is a goddess <laughs> so um yeah this is nominated the female sin and this is how i have her rock the supreme kai's clothes um yeah you know what i'm saying because I don't, that's the point of these videos, like, I don't like rocking the entire outfit, like, you know, I have to mix it up, I have to add my own style and flavor onto it, and hopefully this will inspire some of you guys to change up your fits. But yeah, that's nominee, I'm gonna give you a quick 360, and then we'll flip it on over to Lotus so you guys can get the gap perspective. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And now we have yours truly up to the plate, modeling and styling for us, flexing on all of Canton City, one time for the one time. And of course, here on the upper body, we've got my man's rocking the Supreme Kai clothes because that is this week's item of choice. Then for the lower body, we're rocking Gogeta's clothes. Now these are just, they just look like white pants, okay? So they really don't have to be Gogeta's clothes. They could have been anybody's. Maybe it's just like the form factor and like the, the shape and size of them. Maybe that's why I chose them. No other particular reason than that. But what would have been godly is that if you could see Gogeta's like blue sash or belt hanging from underneath supreme kai's outfit that would have been sick and maybe that's what i was thinking at the time but once i saw it, it didn't do that for whatever reason i just decided to keep them because it's just a pair of white pants i think it works with the fit then on the hands we just have the the demon gi wristbands which are just some generic wristbands that you could change the color of if you wanted to um i'm rocking a pair of red ones because i think it contrasts with the teal and turquoise of the sleeves really well and then it goes good with the uh, like the trim here on the rest of the outfit so that's just how i'm feeling i thought about putting um whoops I thought about putting Bardock's wristbands on them, and while that doesn't look half bad to me, um, I don't know, I just I just ended up sticking with the, the generic wristbands. Like, that doesn't look bad, but I don't know, this just looks a little bit cleaner to me. So uh, yeah, and then of course down here to the foot game, we're rocking Trunks' cap Capsule Corp clothes, because um, best shoes in the game. <laughs> don't care what anyone says, these are the best looking shoes in the game. These and Pan's shoes, but uh, yeah, that's where we're rocking. And then for the accessory, we have the Angel Halo. Um, I actually wanted to rock the Z-Sword, but the thing about the Z-Sword, right, and I'm going to show you real quick as soon as I can find it. It looks really dope with the outfit, right? And it, and it works well because the Z-Sword, the Supreme Kai, it, it all goes together, right? But here's the issue with the Z-Sword. It clips and kind of like digs into the back of the outfit, and that, that really irks me. It bugs me personally, so I, I can't I can't get jiggy with this. I, I just really can't, all right? So, um, yeah, if it wasn't for that, I'd be rocking the Z-Sword because it just it just looks powerful with a Supreme Kai outfit. It just it looks really sick. It looks really, really sick. And I really wish that it wasn't like that. And I could rock it anyway. You know, I don't, it's not like anyone would really care, but I would care. So we're sticking with the Angel Halo. That's just how I'm feeling. So that's just how it's going to go. 
but um yeah man and i'm sure like with the last couple of videos i got gameplay going on at some point uh giving you guys some 360s around uh capsule capsule corp or west city or whatever showing off a few moves real quick so you guys can uh get a feel of how it looks uh, in action how the outfit looks like when you're actually in battle so you can beat niggas in style <laughs> but uh yeah man i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this one up won't drag it out too much longer Oh, and before I forget, if you would like to be part of Fashion Friday and would like to see your own custom created character get featured in one of these videos, don't forget to tweet me. I'll leave the link in the description down below where you guys can find me on Twitter and show me your most stylish, creative, and funky fresh fish that you guys have thrown together. Whether or not it was inspired by one of my videos, I just would like to see how some of y'all get down, you know, what y'all looking like walk around Canton City. But be warned, if it's whack, you will get roasted, and if it's tight, you just might get featured. So, yeah, hit this video to like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, so you guys can stay tuned for all the awesome content I put on bringing you. And with all the being said, that's pretty much all I have today, so I will catch you guys next time. Later.